Hello, this is Alkesh. Um, since we left this video last time, I was working on this cabin inside of Synthize. Um, so I have completed that and I wanted to um, just uh, move forward with what I have done. So uh, you can see from last video I, uh, how I made the marks here and you see many more marks here um, and I track them manually for these four frames. This basically gives me an idea as to where different things are um, in this cabin. So when I start to model this in Maya, I would know exactly how to build the wall and where to put the windows and things like that. Uh, the attic, the window in the attic and so forth, the roof. So um, let's look at this in a quad view. Um, so you can see what's going on here. This blue line here indicates the um, the camera move, so how I was moving when I took the pictures. Um, then you see here from the top view how the cabin is going to be laid out. So if I select a few trackers here, this wall is going to be on the x-axis on this side. And this is going to be the origin of the uh, of the scene for the modeling purposes anyway. I don't think that will be the, uh, the the place where I would keep the cabin in the final shot. And then the other wall is uh, heading out this way. So if I select most of these trackers, you can see that they are heading out in the um, in the Z axis um, away from the camera. Right, the camera is here. So um, gives you a good idea of how the layout is going to be and um, uh, how the uh, the orientation of the cabin is going to be. Now, ideally, you would also take into account the uh, lens distortion. Um, I haven't really paid attention to that for this uh, simple shot. This picture was taken using my um, cell phone actually. This is a um, uh, Samsung Galaxy cell phone that I use to take the picture. So I'm sure that there is, uh, there is quite a bit of uh, lens distortion um, that I should have corrected, but I didn't really care about that. Okay, so um, I would from here, I would export this into uh, Maya because that's where I'm doing most of my modeling. And um, let's see how it worked out. So here is Maya. And the scene that you see here is exactly what I brought in from Synthize. So if I scroll through, um, let's just uh, have the camera visible. So as I scroll through these different frames, you can see how the camera is moving. Now, there is also the trackers here, so let's highlight all these trackers so you can see them. And these are the same trackers that you saw inside of Synthize. So if I go from frame to frame, you can also see how the trackers are uh, moving, staying exactly where they should be um, to highlight where the objects are. So here, you know, these four trackers, for example, showing you the, the window. So when you go from frame to frame, you can see where the window is. So it, let's say uh, we wanted to build this window from a polygon cube. All you need to do at this point is just create a cube. And um, I'm going to first um, make a couple of changes in this cube. So let's go into perspective and frame up on this cube. Um, I'm going to move the pivot point of, um, of this cube. So by holding down D key and then V key because I'm going to snap it right here. Um, and then just uh, hover your mouse here, wiggle a little bit and it will snap there. So that's my window structure. Now let's uh, open up a four view window here so we can see where the, um, the, the window actually needs to be. So if I select these four markers, this is where my window should go. So um, what I'll do <coughs> is um, take my cube and then uh, snap it to this point. So again, holding down the V key and snapping it right here. So let's see, make sure that it's right there. Yep. So now it's snapped at this um, uh, corner of the of the window. So now if I expand it in this direction and up in this direction. Now what you have here is a, uh, a window, and let me just uh, decrease the thickness of that. So, uh, so now you got the window here. So um, 
if you move around you can see that the window is sticking to the um, to the wall exactly where it should be so it makes it very simple workflow from this point on for a geometry like this which is not highly complicated um, geometry um, to start to plan how do you want to um, work with the polygons and where do you want to place them and in which direction should they uh, tilt you know for uh, for roof for example so where do I go from here so I built I started with a uh, blueprint of uh, of the cabin which is uh, exactly what I did here let me just delete this so it doesn't get in the way um, I started with the polygon cube right here at this uh, corner uh, using this corner point as my starting point and then went in two different directions so if you just look at this cube it's just one big giant polygon which I have divided into different um, parts um, by inserting uh, vertices and all that or, or the edges and then changed the angle of some of the uh, vertices and moved around to conform to what I was looking at behind this uh, polygon so um, so here is my base work so if I go to perspective view here um, this is how it looks you have the windows garage doors you have the roof and um, and the attic um, now some of these things you see are not perfectly aligning uh, I did have to improvise a little bit um, again I think it's because of the uh, distortion and I didn't really pay too much attention to how I'm putting the uh, the marks in um, in synthize but for what I was trying to get out of synthize this was uh, more than sufficient uh, it did give me a um, um, kind of a rough idea as to how my cabin should look so um, this is not the full cabin this is only what I could see in um, uh, through the camera so if I go to the camera view um, you can see that there there must be some other part on the other side that is um, uh, hidden a and there is actually I have taken the full image to uh, see exactly how it would look and what I did on the, on that basis um, uh, I started constructing my um, structure so I started with the studs so these are the inside studs where um, the cabin is going to be built upon now the reason why I need this kind of details is um, especially in the parts where the driller our main character is gonna knock out all this part of the um, of the building and when that creates debris um, the debris that it will create should have different elements of what should be inside a barn so um, starting with the structure um, there should be the studs or the beams uh, cracking and uh, turning into smaller pieces and flying around um, uh, with the force of the driller and also coming onto the road because remember there is going to be a road here um, and the camera is on the other side of the road so all those debris we should be able to show the details of, of uh, you know what came out of this um, destruction so I started with the studs um, and once the studs were put in place and let's go and take a look at it from perspective and now you can see that I'm actually thinking about building the entire barn or even on the other side which is not visible um, yeah so so this was um, this was kind of uh, starting to give me the uh, the form factor as to how this cabin is going to look from here I moved over to um, the interior walls which is um, just a simple polygons and, and again you know when when driller comes out of here and breaks all these parts of part of the building there should be debris created and, and that should have some inside walls also into smaller pieces so that was the whole reason now if I bring the um, the texture here you will see what I mean as you can see here there is a uh, wood uh, texture applied to these um, uh, uh, pieces and it's a different shade uh, or the shader than what you see on this uh, studs so um, if I do a quick render you will see um, you'll see the difference there you go so now you can see um, the wood um, studs are going to look different than the um, than the wood panel and all these things are going to break into smaller pieces with dust particles and everything so we really need to have as much details as possible 
you can also see that I have concrete floor here at the base uh, and again when the driller uh, storms through this area and you know breaks this uh, floor it should have the concrete falling all over the place um, in this window area we'll put the windows and um, and then um, the glass will also crack and blast out when uh, uh, driller is making its move so all these things are planned ahead of time and then you know built accordingly so from here um, so now we have two um, two layers you have the uh, the studs and then you have the um, the inside wall uh, from here I went on to build the outside uh, of the cabin which you will see for most parts in this shot anyway um, this inside you're not gonna see and therefore I didn't go on and build everything on the other side because it's outside the frame of the camera anyway yeah so uh, from here I have this uh, uh, built and uh, textured um, cabin so let's see uh, the um, the construction here is is quite simple uh, let me it must be yeah so it, it's quite simple um, if I uh, move a wall here uh, a piece of the wall you can see it's basically a polygon and it's subdivided and uh, extruded in uh, in certain ways so that it looks like a wood panel um, but uh, it's nothing more than the um, a, a simple uh, polygon um, <coughs> That's how I have built most of the cabin here. Also, if you look at the roof, um, you will see that uh, it's uh, just a um, piece of polygon. Uh, then, obviously, I did the uh, the UV uh, layout and and textured the um, uh, the polygon. But yeah, that's um, that's pretty much how the um, the construction went on. Um, some of the textures that you see here is actually originally built from the uh, from the image. So. Um, yeah, you see the garage door here, the, or the main barn door, has um, some decay at the bottom, and the uh, the color has faded, and uh, the algae has developed here. Um, so rather than uh, creating a texture from the scratch, what I did is I took a picture of this uh, cabin from the front, and then uh, cropped out this part of the uh, of the image in Photoshop and created a texture file from that which I then applied onto this polygon here. Um, the same thing I did with this, this door here and this window. Now I'm not sure about this window particularly if I'm going to keep it like this. I may be able to get away with a bump map. If I create bump map from this file and uh, a, a black and white file and then apply that to the bump values of the material, I may be able to just get away from um, making it look somewhat realistic. Um, I'm not sure yet. I may actually have to go ahead and uh, at least create this uh, um, this railing here. And uh, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much how I built the um, the whole cabin. Uh, in the next video, I'll walk you through the driller part of it. So let me just open it up here so you know what's coming. Um, here is the um, this is uh, the kind of a rough uh, idea of what our um, bad guy character is going to look like. This is the driller idea. I got this from uh, Dark of the Moon Transformers. So this is a rigged version of uh, of driller, um, and I'll walk you through this one in the uh, in the next video. And then thereafter, I'll start to build this scene from uh, combining all these elements into one shot. Talk to you then.